Hi everyone, and I got a question for you. What comes to mind when you hear the terminology, do what he says? Mm. And if someone says it in a demeanoring way, mm. extremely shouting, or very nicely, do what he says. Mm. Well, today's Be Resplendent episode, that's the title, Do What He Says. And that's an encouragement not um, a discouragement That's right. Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, don't forget, you guys can always send us an email letting us know that you have a question. Just go ahead, let us know, and we just might answer that question on a future Be Respondent episode. And you can send your questions to contact at com. You can remain anonymous, or you could just say your first name, that would be awesome. You could even say exactly. where, where, you, where you're from. That's cool also. Yeah, just let us know what you'd like us to say. We can, as anonymous or not. Mm -hmm. Amen. The first scripture that we're going to dive right into is John chapter 2, verse 5. Mm -hmm. And this comes from his mother, Jesus' mother. But his mother told the servants, do whatever he tells you. Mm -hmm. Isn't it amazing that even his mother, Mary, says, do whatever he tells. In other words, do whatever Jesus tells you to do. Mm -hmm. And here in the story, it's, it's awesome. They were at a wedding and, you know, he performed his first miracle, which is awesome. But we have to think about it because I don't believe that she would be pleased if anyone worshipped her or anything like that because they said to, he said to do whatever she he, says to do and what does jesus always say yeah. love the lord your god only right so that's the thing there is no other gods before him and you know if you do love the lord your god with all your heart soul mind and spirit and love your neighbor as yourself that's what he's talking about when he says, do what he says. I do when, believe it's fine to when, give a person that's honorable and honor as of his court, mother, as his mother. Absolutely. Which is what they did when they went to her in honor. Mm -hmm. They honored her. You kind of think here they went to her, but in going to her and honoring her, mm -hmm. there must have been something about knowing there was something about jesus already there must have been something that that was being sensed because this is not just that they're going to her they went to her and going to her remember there's other other guests there in that wedding but they went to her and she didn't say okay make sure you do this and this and that and then go to jesus no she said just go to him and do whatever he tells you to do Oh, that's an encouragement. And, and, and that's the key, right? That's the key. So that's why it's important that we keep in mind this message today, this Be Respondent episode is about do what he says. What is our response? And, you know, Pastor Chris and I like to say this a lot to you all as listeners and those that tune in. What is your response to what he says? Are you doing what he says? And are you that person that if someone comes to you, are you gonna lead them to what he says, or are you oh. gonna are you gonna tell them what you think, and then add? And I think this is what it says in the Bible. <laughs> you know what I'm in saying? In other words, I'll paraphrase <laughs> that kind of thing. And you know what? That is an awesome thing because people can get themselves in trouble when you reach out to a friend or a loved one or whoever you may reach out to. You may be Googling it and you may be searching it online for an answer. Yeah. And you have to say, okay, Lord, is this lining up with your word, what I'm, what I'm listening to? Or if you're the person that someone has actually come to, mm -hmm. are you telling them basically what I, there's times where people have come to me and I said, look, I, this is just me, okay? This is not, so you have to really rightly divide it. But I always try to put Jesus in there and, and, and put what the Bible says because I want to make sure that what I say lines up with God's word. And yes. that's what I pray that every single one of you do the same mm -hmm. also. And when you're doing what he says, are you going to do what he says for your own selfish gain? Mm, good point. Or are you going to do what he says because you know that that would be something that is pleasing to him? Correct. And um, that's why she was leading, she was leading them to him 
because he's not going to lead us in a way that is wrong. He says, I'll guide you and lead you in the way you need to go. Um, John 15, 13 to 15 tells us, Greater love has no one than this, that he laid down his life for his friends. And that's exactly what Jesus did. Absolutely. That's why us um, doing what he says, we're going to someone who lived the greatest example of love by laying down his life, Absolutely. right? So in verse 14, he says, you are my friends if you do what I command you. So if you're doing what he says, he's saying we've become friends. Yes. You know, you, 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 now you get to know who I am as your Lord and savior. And then in 15, it says, so no longer do I call you servants for a servant doesn't understand what his master's doing, but I've called you friends because everything I have learned from my father, I've made known to you because now this intimate relationship Mm -hmm. that we get from Jesus because we're going to do what he says because we love him, we honor him, and we've, we've asked him to become our personal savior in our lives. Now we get to know, okay, he wants to lead me. Correct. He has plans for my life. He has a purpose for my life. He doesn't hide his will from you anymore. No. I mean, he, he never did anyway, but, but I'm just saying because you have come to him. Your eyes are open to sense. And you're doing what you're saying. Exactly. How would you, let's just say, you know, if you were going on a train and you needed to get on a train, but you choose to keep on going right. with a car, how are you going to know what the train is doing until you go into the train? Right. It's the same kind of situation. Doing Do it what you his said. way. You're, 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 you're now in tuned. You're within that line of where you're, you're supposed to be and nothing is hidden. He's exposing things to you. Yeah. And most of all, he he's going to express... You're going to be, because you're doing what he says, I'm going to be honest with you, you're going to express, ex, 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 just express, and so experience is the word I was looking for, yeah. his love. You're going to wonder, and wow. And his peace. Yes. And his peace. That's a biggie. Yes. Especially nowadays and all that we've been going through, through you know a virus that's worldwide, mm. the peace. Yeah. That passes because, all understanding. Because you want to do what he says. Correct. John... Thirteen seventeen says, now that you know these things, so now we're, mm-hmm. we're, we're, we're sharing this with you. So now you've become aware of what his word says about this. God will bless you for doing that. And that's the whole verse, ladies and gentlemen. I know Pastor Nelly stopped there for a second. It says, now that you know these things, God will bless you for doing that. I'm them. not making up this word. This is from His, from the word of the Lord. Mm-hmm. This is the Bible. And and so how do, what does that mean? Now that you know these things, how do I know these things? We get to know these things because we've, we've asked Jesus to mm-hmm. come into our life we're spending time in his word. We're spending time in his presence in prayer. And we're getting to know what he what he would have us to do. So now we get mm. to know what he would have us to That's do. Right. Then we begin to do what he says. Correct. You know? You know, it's sad that many actually say that they, they know God. And then for me, I actually look for fruit. Like someone says, hey, you know, we're going to go apple picking or something mm-hmm. or orange picking. I look at the tree and I say, okay. That's an apple tree. I'm going to pick mm-hmm. apples. Oh, that's an orange tree. I'm going to pick oranges. You know, if you say you know God, but we don't see any fruit. In other words, you're probably not doing what he says. Mm-hmm. But our encouragement to you is that if you find yourself or you're convicted that you may be thinking what I just said may be offensive or you, what you just mm-hmm. think of and said, man, was he trying to throw, you know, uh, stones in a glass window? No, mm-hmm. no, nothing like that. I'm just saying it's, it's when you say you know God, how about you naturally not trying to show off or, or anything just naturally doing what he says mm-hmm. in other words if you know the way sometimes what i've noticed is that when people are around a lot of you know pastors or christians they tend to put christian knees on when you go to work are you still going to say well you know what that's how i act there when i'm at work I'm going to throw out some curse words. I'm going to throw in some gossip. I'm going to put down this person, that person. And I'm sure the Holy Spirit and you know, when is telling you, come on, do what he says all the time. And this is a loving from heart. From, please hear my heart on this because I love you. I want you guys to do what he says because it will lead you to eternal life, which is what we want to encourage you to do. So, uh, amen. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Matthew 7, 24 
tells us anyone who listens to my teaching and follows is wise like a person who builds a house on solid rock so what happens now is because we're choosing to listen with mm. because we're now not just listening but we're also doing what he says um like pastor chris said we're going to bear fruit there's going to be there's going to be the evidence of our faith it's going to be now that we are aware because we become aware because we're in his presence we're reading the word we're we're studying we're sensitive to his voice we're doing what he says mm -hmm. he says now anyone who listens to my teaching so we're not just uh you know one ear in like the words coming in and then it's out no we're listening like you all who are tuning in and you're listening to this be resplendent episode so you're listening the jesus says and now you're listening to my teaching and if you follow you are wise now wisdom comes on you you know yeah. in these days we need wisdom absolutely we need that wisdom that comes from god not a we're not talking about just a worldly wisdom to be be aware of what's going on in the world because you should not be naive to what's going on in the world but we need god's wisdom to know how to walk in the world that we live in right now correct because without that wisdom we're going to do things that we think are right in our own eyes we're not yeah. going to do what he says absolutely without the power of the holy spirit we become weak in our own self mm -hmm. you know but with the strength of the holy spirit we have that that ability to do what he says not just say man god i know that's the right thing for me to be doing because i know what your word says mm -hmm. about this you say to be angry lord but not sin in other words i may get mad about some things but god you don't want me to stay there that it leads to sin and it, and it takes hold of my heart that now i can't hear you god wants that when we're in that moment in these things uh, where we where we fall into sin, we mess up, we miss the mark, we didn't listen to him, that now when we go back to him, we say, God, you know, I realized in that moment, I wasn't doing what you say. I wasn't remembering that you said, you know, don't don't stay angry. I wasn't remembering that you said, you know, don't don't be worried about tomorrow. I keep worrying about tomorrow. Well, God is reminding us right now, I want you to build your house on solid rock i want you to build your house on the things that he says in his word because his word will not return void so correct. let's do what he says and in the midst of worry in the midst of anger in the midst of these tests that that want to cause us to just fall away and not be right with god let's remember to keep building our house on the rock because in doing that mm -hmm we're being we're gaining the wisdom that we need in times that we're living in right now absolutely i think that a great example is that if you listen to um the the previous be responded episode mm -hmm. where we gave the example because you mentioned so many things that they could be going through yeah. one of the examples we utilized was um, um was when the disciples were in a boat and they were in the midst of a storm and they could have died but yet here comes jesus he tells them to come so in other words, they knew that you were facing a tremendous situation. The Correct. person almost died. I mean, the, the disciples almost could have died yes. because the waves were just so rough and everything. But even in the midst of it, Jesus said, come. Mm -hmm. So that's what we were mm -hmm. expressing about it. And I thought mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. that. And, and that is an awesome point. And also the reason why I think you're elaborating on it is the next verse that we choose, which is almost like a kicker. It's almost like something, yes, it's an encouragement, it's a warning, but it's, it's, it's an expression that will say that, you know what, this is really true of what's going on. In mm -hmm. Jesus' name. Yeah. And it is 1 John 2, verse 4. It says, If someone claims I know God, but doesn't obey my commandments, that person is a liar and is not living in the truth. Mm -hmm. See, it's about the living in the truth. It's not about do's and don'ts or anything like that. It's because you know God. You begin to love God. You begin to have that relationship with God. This is not a religion now. This is because you have a relationship. When you have a relationship, it's a sweet thing. It's a, it's a conversion. It's a conversation, excuse yeah. me. And it's a way of you keeping still and listening, not just you giving out all <laughs> the, the talking That's all the time, sure. but learning to be still yeah. and hearing. So how else would you do what he says if you don't listen? 
if you don't wake up in the morning and begin to read his word. And I'm not putting this as like like a legalistic thing, but you know what? <laughs> Naturally, You're, though, you want to you because want to do you, that. you love him. Didn't Jesus say that also in our last Be With <laughs> episode? He said, hey, come have breakfast with me. Yeah. In other words, he wants you to start with him, the, the day with him. So you, he wants you to do what he says yeah. in Jesus' and name. And let me tell you, if there's anybody right now listening, you say, I know God, I know God. I know God, and you know, I know God, you know, even there's people that, you know, very often, you know, Pastor Chris and I have heard people very often, I've been raised in the church, I know God. Many people say they know God, but the evidence of who we are in Christ is in the way we're living, that we're following what he says. Listen, he knows that we are made out of flesh. He knows mm -hmm. that we're going to mess up. He knows that we're not going to always do everything that he says. That's why we need Jesus as our Savior. That's why we need to keep on <laughs> encouraging. Yep. Just like how a cell phone battery, it dies off. This always needs to be charged up. Mm -hmm. Guess what? In our spiritual life, we have to always go back to the Word of God mm -hmm. and keep on watching like these mm -hmm. Beaver Spending episodes mm -hmm. like an example. Mm -hmm. That's another source of encouragement. This is why we do them. We want you to be charged up and to mm -hmm. be encouraged. Mm -hmm. Yeah, amen. So let's, let's pray because God wants us to know that as we get to know God mm -hmm. in Jesus name, we're going to do what he says. We're going to want to do what he says, yes. not because we're obligated to, because we love him. We want to do what he says and we want to bring glory and honor to his name. Yes. I'm going to pray the scriptures in Jesus' name. Father God, I thank you so very much for our listeners and our viewers in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, I thank you that Lord, just as his mother said, do whatever he tells you to do. I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ, all of our listeners, our viewers will do what you say to do, Lord Jesus. That they'll hear your Jesus. voice clearly, Lord. They'll read your word. They'll hear you. They'll, they'll be, just begin to live in the truth, oh God. Just as your word says in Matthew 7, God, but I pray that they will build their homes on a solid rock, that their house is Lord God, will be built on the Word of God. Not what well, I think, well, you know, I don't see it that way. Lord, I pray that they will take the eye out of it and say, Lord, God, how do you see it? Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord, to hear you so I can do what you say Amen. in Jesus' name. Yes, because you love me so much, you know what's best for me, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. May every home that's represented, that's Jesus. watching us right now, Lord, be based on the solid rock, Lord. If some of them are saying, Lord, I have not been doing that. I've I messed up or I didn't start this way. Lord, let them just say, Father, forgive yes. me. And let them go on from, from this day forward, God, this very second forward, that they will build their yes, house God. on the solid rock of Jesus Christ. Yes. Lord, I pray that you, O oh Lord, just now, now that they know so much truth that we've expressed in this Be Responded episode, Lord, the Lord says in, in John 13, 17, now that you know these things, God will bless you for doing them. God, I pray that you would bless yes. every viewer and bless every listener in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bless them, Lord, for them doing, doing what you say, Lord. Even right now, just the openness to say, Lord, I want to do what you want me to do, Lord. God, I pray that you would bless them indeed in the Hallelujah. name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, I pray you bless them with a power off your Holy Spirit. Give them the strength to say no to the things of the enemy and yes to the things of God in Jesus' name. And Lord, just as in First, um, First John 2, 7, Lord, it says, Oh Lord, I pray that, that they, Lord, will live in the truth. God, I pray that they will say, Lord, the two verse four, that they, Lord, first John two, four, Lord, that they will live in the truth. I pray that they will live in the truth, the truth of God's word, not the truth of their emotions or anything else, not the truth of what they're listening to music or or everything else, Lord, but they'll hear the word of the Lord in Jesus name. We pray. We thank you, Lord, for them doing what you say in Jesus' yes, name. God. Amen and amen. Amen. Praise God. I look forward to hearing the comments on this one. <laughs> Go ahead and comment. It. I pray that you would share it with people and say, hey, how do you think about this in Jesus' name? I pray that you will like this video and subscribe to this channel. That's right. Make sure you ring the bell as well so that you get all the notifications of everything that we're doing here, right here on Respondency's uh, YouTube channel. I want to thank those of you that follow me at Examine Moments, and I want to thank those of you that have taken time to read my blogs on Let's Take a Moment.com. I have more coming, and I'm very excited about it. Absolutely. And also, I'm... there's this a Be Respondent Life. I mean, yes. there's a Respondency Live podcast. podcast. So I want to thank those of you that tune in to our Respondency. Life podcast. That's right. On behalf of Respendency, 
from our hearts. We love you guys so much. And we want you guys to do this thing for Jesus Christ. Stand, Stand out and shine. God bless you. God bless.